So we will stand up all together, raise our lights up to the sky with faith and love in our hearts. We will embark. Oh, oh, oh. We will be. My fellow Latter day Saints, Kenzie Retro, the Mormon entertainer here, the most inspirational Mormon in all of that shit. And welcome to Wednesday Reactions. <laughs> I'll be a I'll be a little tongue twister to try and get around, but uh, nevertheless, here we go. Reaction time, and in honor of the Philadelphia Eagles, oops, spoiler alert, I should say, the Philadelphia Eagles uh, winning the uh, Super Bowl this year. Congrats to them, dethroning the Patriots. The Patriots were all over, the, the Patriots were all over the place for the um the game uh, anyway uh, let's see so we've got uh, a list of the top 10 Super Bowl 52 commercials made by the awesome folks over at watchmojo.com so here we go This video is brought to you by CAPE, the one source app to the world of mixed martial arts. Follow the link below to cape.tv with a K to sign up for updates and a chance to win a walk-on role in the next installment of the Kickboxer movie franchise. Sounds Whether interesting. Whether you rooted for the Eagles or the Patriots, we can all agree that these ads were winners. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Super Bowl commercials of 2018. I'm the new spokesman. I'm employee of the month. It's not a competition. Before we begin, <laughs> we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're picking our favorite commercials released in conjunction with Super Bowl 52, whether they're funny, touching, or something else entirely. However, we won't be including trailers for movies or TV shows. I mean, let's face it, that would be way too easy. This isn't a movie. No. It's a tourism <laughs> ad for Australia. Yes. Number 10, Jeep Jurassic. Jeep. Ooh. Super Bowl 52 not only included a preview of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, but also Which looks a commercial amazing. that paid homage to the original classic. Heck, Jeep even managed to cast Ian Malcolm himself, Jeff Goldblum. He <laughs> starts off with a clip from the 1993 film, and then cuts to an older Goldblum, who once again must go faster with a T-Rex hot on his tail. How do you like it now, my friend? Well, it turns out the whole thing is only a daydream. The commercial lovingly recreates an iconic scene, with special effects that are actually quite impressive by Super Bowl standards. John Williams' timeless musical score is just the cherry on top, as the Jeep and the dinosaur ride off into the sunset. Nice! <laughs> that is brilliant! That is absolutely brilliant! Number 9. Feel Something Again, Kia Stinger. Steven Tyler follows up his Skittles ad from Super Bowl 50 with this rousing commercial for the wow. 2018 Kia Stinger. Skittles, that's about that! With Pokemon playing in the background. The ad finds a 69-year-old Tyler getting it's into like, the... It's like, with what playing in the background? With Dream On playing in the background. Oh, the ad Dream finds on. a 69-year-old Tyler <laughs> getting into the sports sedan. The musician proceeds to take the car for a spin in reverse. Oh, okay! Okay. A screeching halt. Tyler exits the vehicle, looking not a day over 30, with adoring fans waiting to swarm him. This beautifully shot commercial is clever and effective, as it demonstrates how 365 horsepower can suddenly make an aging man feel like a young rock star. Above all else, though, it reminds us that the music of Aerosmith will never grow old. <laughs> Eight, Brilliant. Who wouldn't? Groupon. You're not only saving money, you're also supporting local business. This commercial is so straightforward and yet so brilliant. Comedian Tiffany Haddish continues her winning streak as a Groupon super user. Haddish can't imagine people not liking Groupon, especially since it supports local businesses. Of course, there is one wealthy curmudgeon who would rather have a parking garage than see a small family owned business thrive. Fortunately, he gets his comeuppance through a priceless bit of slapstick. Yeah, it's immature and unbelievably simple, but the mm. ad is guaranteed to leave you feeling good. What can we say? Few things in this world are funnier than a football in the groin. Oh! oh, oh, oh I felt that one! Feels so good. 
it didn't feel good for him now. <laughs> Download the app and say. I definitely felt that one. Touchdown celebrations to come. NFL. You work on something? Ooh. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get it. Talk about having the halftime of your life. It's not uncommon for football players to take ballet classes to strengthen their muscles and improve their game on the field. That being said, we have a hard time picturing the NFL and dirty dancing going together. In this uproarious commercial... How does that even... How does that even work, guys? How does that even work? Playing I've Had the Time of My Life, the two New York Giants engage in a dance routine that would make even Johnny and Baby envious. In addition to being hysterical, the choreography is a ton of fun, inevitably working up to the legendary jump. Nobody puts Beckham in the corner. They're gonna pull it off. They pull it off? How? Number six, this is the Pepsi. Pepsi. This is the Pepsi that your father drank. And his father drank before he met your grandmother. Pepsi has put out one unforgettable Super Bowl commercial after another. This retro ad is the ultimate throwback, showcasing the soda's greatest hey! generations. With Jimmy Fallon narrating, the commercial takes us on a journey back in time. So, naturally, <laughs> the DeLorean from Back to the Future makes an appearance. Woohoo! Pepsi that's back from the future. <laughs> that's not nostalgia for you. It also hosts a slew of familiar faces, including Cindy Crawford, Ray Charles, Kyrie Irving, Jeff Gordon, Britney Spears, and Michael Jackson. All that's missing is Justin Timberlake, but at least he got to rock the Pepsi halftime show. Let's light it up tonight. That's a lot of Pepsi ads. This is the Pepsi ad that'll speak to audiences of all ages. This is the Pepsi for every generation. Yeah, that's a lot of Pepsi ads, folks. Number five. Wow. Pringles. Hey! You've been eating Pringles the wrong way all this time. Really? Been sticking with one chip. Have you ever considered stacking three different flavors into one appetizing mouthful? Oh, that's wow. tempting. Wow. In this amusing ad, Bill Hader and company come up with the inspired idea to stack barbecue, pizza, mm -hmm. and jalapeno Pringles on top of each other, thus creating a spicy barbecue pizza combo. The three can't help but marvel over their tasty innovation, but they've merely scratched the surface. According to Pringles, there are actually 267,720 different combinations to try. Say what? I'm sorry, how many? It's over 9,000! Not now, Vegeta! Way more than that, in fact. How many did they say? ...all over their tasty innovation, but they've merely scratched the surface. According to Pringles, there are actually 267,000... Okay, 267,000... 720 different combinations to try. 267672. Wait, hang on. J just to be sure, just to be sure, guys. There are actually 267,720 different combinations to try. Um... Yeah, that's, pre that's pretty much my reaction right now. <laughs> 267,720 different combinations. That's a lot of flavors! That's a lot of flavors. And that's just from three chips! That's just from three! <laughs> wow! Who saw that one coming? Because I certainly didn't. You can stack different flavors? Nobody asked you, Kevin! <laughs> <laughs> also, are we the only ones that want to see Hater in a war epic? Number four, human M&Ms. Anyway, sometimes I wish I were human. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if the M&Ms were real people? What? Well, even if you haven't, what? there's no denying that Danny DeVito as Red is spot on casting. No way! <laughs> yet again. Red's wish to be human is granted via a lucky penny. While he's still bald, short, and full of chocolate, Red is just ecstatic that nobody wants to have him for a snack. He's so excited that he forgets to look out for oncoming traffic and is sent flying across the street. Ah, nobody wants to eat me! I'm the luckiest! Woo! <laughs> the shell is even harder than an M&M's. Red eventually decides that he'd be better off as candy, resulting in a side-splitting payoff. I wish I were an M&M again. <laughs> that is a great fa- Oh! Ow. Number 
three, Doritos Blaze versus Mountain Dew Ice. Mountain Dew and Doritos. No Super Bowl party would be complete without Mountain Dew and Doritos. Okay. To bring these two brands together, it's an epic treat nobody can resist. In the red corner, you've got Peter Dinklage chowing down on a bag of Doritos Blaze. In the blue corner, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman! <laughs> that is a killer combination! As they might be, these two go together in harmony like Buster Rhymes and Missy Elliott, who also make cameos. New Mountain Dew Ice, a clear, refreshing lemon lime dew. In addition to being humorous and toe tapping, this lip sync battle is brilliantly shot and choreographed from start to finish. A song of ice and fire just took on a whole new meaning. <laughs> what? I swear, if that was legit Peter Dinklage rapping, take my. Take my money! Doritos Blaze, a bold new flavor that brings the heat. Number two, Alexa loses her voice. Amazon. Oh boy. Alexa lost her voice this morning, causing a Alexa lost her voice. How is that even possible? Amazon pulled out all the stops with their first Super Bowl commercial back in 2016, enlisting the likes of Alec Baldwin, Dan Marino, and Missy Elliott. Dan Marino class. Arguably topped themselves with their latest ad, packing in enough big names to fill an Ocean's Eleven movie. Alexa, show me a recipe for a grilled cheese sandwich. Pathetic. You're 32 years of age. In addition to Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, this commercial features appearances from <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, Cardi B, Rebel Wilson, and Sir Anthony Hopkins. But while all of these celebs turn in hilarious work, they can't quite fill the void Alexa has left behind. Fortunately, it isn't long until she relocates her soothing voice. Thanks, guys, but I'll take it from here. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Presenting the all-new Lexus LS 500. Long live. That's clever. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Somebody likes attention. Here's to the friends you can always count on. My friend, her son's a lawyer, but my son, his bleep don't stink, so. That's better than being a lawyer. The power to do. Wait, hold on. That's oh, that was John Markovich there. The power to do. Ah, his most excellentness himself. Party on, dudes! Beautiful avocados from Mexico, but where are the chips? I'm sorry. Mm. The chips. The chips are outside. Why are they outside? The chips are outside. Ah! Number one, <laughs> it's a Tide ad. <laughs> tide. David Harbour as a Tide spokesman. Well, we've seen Stranger Things. In fact, <laughs> that's clever. P throughout several commercial breaks, channeling Matthew McConaughey. Harbour almost tricks the audience into thinking they're watching a car commercial. Yeah, just your typical Super Bowl car ad. Right. It quickly becomes clear, however, that the actor is parodying various different commercials, oh. hilariously building to the reveal that this is really a Tide ad. What? It's a Tide ad. Since Procter & Gamble owns numerous brands, he's also able to cross paths with Mr. Clean and the mm -hmm. Old Spice Guy. Now, oh, brilliant! A commercial, we'll be on the lookout for Mr. Harbor. I'm in a Tide ad. Nice pants. <laughs> <laughs> This video is brought to you by CAPE, the one source app to the world of mixed martial arts, where you'll find unlimited news and information on your favorite fighters and organizations. You can even watch classic martial arts and action movies. Follow the link below to CAPE.TV, CAPE with a K, to sign up for updates and a chance to win a walk-on role in the next installment of the Kickboxer movie franchise. I'm, I'm lost for words, guys. I'm legit lost for words. I mean, I mean, here I am, big smile on my face. I mean, those commercials were brilliant. It's hard to pick a, it is hard to pick a favorite though. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm sure, I'm sure I'll be, I'm sure I'll be able to pick something at some point. But, I mean. That's insane. That is insane. 
I mean, I mean the, the Pepsi one, pff, that was brilliant. Uh, in any case, that's uh, today's reaction. Well, this week's reaction, I should say, out the way. What do you want me to react to next week, folks? Feel free to sound off in the comments below. And uh, if you want to stay up to date with uh, what I do on this channel, uh, hit the subscribe button and make sure, make sure because the YouTube have managed to, Google have managed to screw up again. Uh, when, you, when you click the bell, make sure it has all notifications enabled so you don't miss anything I do. Because by default right now, you hit the subscribe button, it says you'll only receive occasional notifications. You need to click the bell to get all notifications. That way you're, that way you're guaranteed to not miss anything I do on my channel. Tomorrow will be Throwback Thursdays and I'll be back with Pac-Man World. <laughs> That'll be fun. So... I hope you enjoyed what you saw like I said if you did hit the thumbs up and I will see you guys tomorrow for throwback Thursdays and Pac-Man World so see you all have a fantastic day peace out stay faithful